successful feedback metrics. On the left is a percentage score. 100 is perfect and 75 is passing. The Adult to Rescuer CPR Skills Assessment has seven metrics contributing to your score. Hand placement, compression rate, recoil, depth, CCF, or chest compression fraction, volume, and rescuer non-disrupted. A green check by the metric confirms that you have met the objective. If you have a perfect score, the box on the right will be green and display, great job. Unsuccessful feedback metrics. On the left, the percentage score is zero. A red X by the metric confirms that you did not successfully meet the objective. If you have a score from 0 to 99, the box on the right will be red and display the metric that essentially caused you to lose the most points. This is the most effective metric to work on first. For hand placement, you want to place your hands on the center of the chest between the nipples. For more complete information, see the card for the Adult Chest Compressions video. For compression rate, your compressions were too fast or too slow, or sometimes a combination of both. Your compression should be at a rate between 100 to 120 per minute. For further assistance, click the card for the 110 beats per minute metronome video. Recoil can be difficult to adjust to initially because few mannequins have measured this metric in the past. Let the chest fully recoil or return to its normal position in between each chest compression. Compression depth is improved with proper body mechanics. See again the adult chest compressions video. On the cart or the RQI simulation station, Sometimes providers throw off their body mechanics by looking to the left at the screen. If you find that this is impacting your ability to compress, ignore the screen and look at the mannequin. Listen for the audio feedback to guide you. CCF, or chest compression fraction, is the percentage of time that we are performing chest compressions during our skills assessment. We improve chest compression fraction by reducing interruptions in chest compressions. Efficiency and ventilation technique and switching rules will reduce interruptions and increase chest compression fraction. Volume is impacted by mask placement, seal, and head tilt chin lift. For more complete assistance, click the card for the single rescuer bag mask ventilation video. Rescuer non-disrupted. For this assessment, you will alternate roles with the virtual rescuer. Do not begin ventilating until the virtual rescuer completes 30 chest compressions. Do not continue to ventilate after two ventilations, or the virtual rescuer will begin chest compressions while you are still ventilating. Do not begin chest compressions until the virtual rescuer completes two ventilations. Do not continue chest compressions past 30 or the virtual rescuer will begin to ventilate while you are still compressing. Best of luck on your way to 100%, or at least 75%.